So I've been waiting for a package and it's arrived. UPS is here. Thanks, man. All right. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Okay. This is it. Okay, so it's like about 7.50 right now. We've been at Mimi and BB's for a little bit now. And it's been fun visiting. I'm gonna make some tea and then get school done. And then when some of the kids start to wake up, then I'm probably gonna make food. So I'm working on a book report right now and my mom wants me to make a cover for the book report. So I'm working on the cover for it. This is the cover to my book report. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing eggs and toast. is pretty hot so okay wait is it. Alright guys, let's open it up and see what we have here. Alright, so I ordered this from our good friends at Mike's Camera in Boulder, Colorado. And this is what I ordered. This is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Look at that. Comes with the camera, GoPro stickers. Oh, and this one comes with a removable battery, which the last GoPro I had did not have that, that option. Sticky pads, charge cable. Some of the features on this is it will take 12 megapixel um, pictures, shoot 4K at 60 frames a second, 1080p at up to 240 frames a second, waterproof up to 33 feet, voice command, touch screen on the back, eight times slow motion, GPS HDR, and it's also got a hyper smooth function. So when you're, when you're filming and it's jiggling and jostling around, it's supposed to smooth all that out. And it will also do live streaming if you have a Wi-Fi connection. So this is our first time using 
the new GoPro Hero 7. Audio you he you're hearing right now is the audio you get with the camera. This is a, a waterproof camera, so they've got to kind of figure out a way to make it waterproof and still give you the best audio possible. Got some new glasses. So we're actually just all going out the door and we're gonna go over to Barnes and Noble this evening. What are you doing? A boo. A boo. Boo. So it's kind of a tradition when we're in Pensacola, Florida, with one of our very good friends. We go to Barnes and Noble and hang out. I see I brought my my iPad. My iPad chain. I ordered some books yeah. off of Lamplighter um, like this? website. Hey, I think it's lamplighter.net. But they have audiobooks and Arwen loves their audiobooks. And Lamplighter had a special where you could get ten audiobooks for twenty dollars, which is crazy good deal because usually they're like twenty So if you don't know who Lamplighter Studio is, they take like really old classic books. I think that they um, have to be over a hundred years old, these books, and then they put them to audio. Um, a lot of them are dramatized audio books, and they're really good. All right, we're hitting some low light situations here. I mean, it's not real bright out. About two weeks ago, uh, went bike riding and I was turning a corner and uh, there was some sand on the sidewalk and so when I turned the corner I was kind of going fast like not extremely fast but I anyways I turned the corner and I didn't really see the sand and I fell and I hit the concrete and I skinned up my whole right leg and then both of my hands and my knees and it wasn't really skinned I like chunked out it's better now but that's where it was Julia's scared hanging on tight well, wait a second did I want to go straight there yes. I did yep and then you turn left up there yes well you can go straight though and go you could no, not past it. You take a left. Julie gets kind of confused where we are in Pensacola sometimes. No, actually, so, that is. Yeah, thing. she thinks this is the intersection after this intersection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So what you need to do, Shane, is go over the bridge and then turn left. So I know. that means you need to switch three. I know. Lanes. I know. So what's nice about a GoPro, as opposed to our other camera that has like a big microphone on it and you know a big lens and it's bulkier is gopros are very easy to just grab and go you just grab it hit the record button that's why they call it a gopro and you're off we're here Sweetheart, let's go. One, two, three, jump.
All right, so the thing I wanna to test today is the stabilization feature on this camera. They claim that it's a gimbal-like uh, stabilization. So I'm going to do two side-by-sides. On the left, I'm gonna do the footage without stabilization, and on the right, I'm gonna do footage with stabilization just to kind of show that contrast. So let's turn this thing on and go. All right, so because I haven't actually viewed the footage, you'll have to decide what you think of that uh, stabilization fo footage versus the non. Do you feel like it does a good job? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. So one of the cool features about this camera is you can actually watch your footage on your camera. It's got a you know built-in monitor display on it and I was actually just watching the stabilized version versus versus the non-stabilized version. It looks pretty good I have to say. So when I buy a new camera one of the daunting things about it is how easy is it to operate because some cameras can get really really complicated. Um, what I've found with this is it seems pretty easy to use. I mean, I've only had this for a day and it feels like it's like I've got a pretty good handle on how to use it. Um, it's got a feature on it where you just click the record button right there and even if it's off, it'll just immediately start recording and you're good to go. And then you click that again and it turns your recording off and it shuts the camera back down. There's also a power button on the side of it right here that you can push and turn on and then, you know, get to all your, your functions. Kind of a really quick crash course here is by pushing the side button or by pressing the screen itself. You can cycle through your time lapse, video, and photo. You can also access that by clicking the side power button. It'll pull up your different settings. Now, if you want to access your footage that's already on your camera, you simply swipe up and I've got all my footage right here and I can, I can cycle through that and look at it. Um, the screen quality actually seems pretty good on this and I can swipe back down to go back to my, my screen. Now, if I want to get to my camera settings, like my preferences and things like that, I simply swipe down and I've got my preferences there. So I can select whether um, I want to have voice controls on, whether I want to have the sounds, the beeping sounds on, um, whether or not I want quick, quick capture on or off. I can lock it and I can also click the preferences button, which will have all my settings like my Wi-Fi settings, um, voice control settings, touch display settings, regional settings, my input and output settings, all that. So it's very, really quite easy to navigate through this. All right guys, so let me know what you think of this camera in the comment section below. I think it's gonna be a great little tool to have, not to mention it's waterproof. It'll go up to 33 feet underwater, which I don't plan on going that deep anytime soon, but it'll be great to have. I've got a link in the video description where you can purchase this. Um, one, I ordered this specifically from Mike's Camera in Boulder, Colorado. Great people there, good customer service. I've also got the Amazon link in the video description where you can order it from and we actually get a kickback from that. So here's a couple other tests we did with it. So have a great day and we have more videos coming your way soon. What are you doing, Jess? I'm not as young as I once was.